hello dear students you must be engaged yourself for the preparation of your the annual examinations as well as for your the competitive examinations today we are going to discuss about the magnetic effect of the current or in your the other books you will find that the moving charges and the magnetism of part 4 so before your the part 4 let us recapitulate your the knowledge what we already discussed in the part 1 part 2 and the part 3 this chapter is deals with the magnetic effect of the current means while the current is flowing through a conductor it will be producing the magnetic field if a field is there there must be a force there must be some directions and what will be the magnitude of that force and what the direction of that force about that we know by using your the right hand thumb rule right hand palm rule likewise the different actions which we will make by taking your the hand positions means right hand thumb rule right hand palm rule right hand rule means take your the bottom <coughs> thumb and rotate your the four fingers the direction in which the thumb will direct or the four fingers will direct or the thumb or the palm will direct that will give you the different concepts of that field so today we are going to discuss about your the two things which probably the last part of the magnetic effect of the electric current the first one is the torque or the couple due to rotation of the rectangular current carrying conductor and the second one is your the moving coil galvanometer which you will found very simply it is as the mcg m stands for the moving c stands for the coil g stands for the galvanometer and what are it is the conversions how it will make to change from your the galvanometer to ammeter or the galvanometer into your the voltmeter so let us start from today that the <coughs> torque or the couple due to the rotation of your the or the due to the current flow through your the rectangular conductor when placed in a uniform magnetic field so let me know from you or just you will think it what do you mean by the torque or the couple do you heard the word of the couple couple so when the word couple comes c o u p l e couple either you do not know or that is you are the quite familiar with you that nowadays when a invitation cards will come to your the home then you will find that at the middle portion it being written that your presence is kindly solicited to bless the newly married couple so newly married couple means in our odia language that is called your the dampati means one is the boy another one is the girl so when the boy and the girl both are of your the opposite so when the two opposite things of your the different concepts as we are thinking nowadays but actually they are of the same nature with its the different characters means suppose you will have a boy which is a fat one and a girl if that is a thin one then generally we will not accept it as a good couple we will say that it is a couple because one boy one girl is there but it is not a good couple so a couple can be balanced by using our the another couple that you know very well in your the film society you know that that persons are your the good couple suppose you will go for the odia pictures in the odia pictures nowadays suppose you will take your the vijaya uh, <coughs> mahanti suppose you will take with the tandra rai suppose the uttam mahanti with your the aparajita and nowadays the new heroes those who are coming suppose one will say sabya sachi which is the current affairs so sabya sachi if you take into account so the couple will be very better and they becomes from the Really real life to the real life with your the archita so they are the couples we are saying generally that is the good couple suppose you will go for the hindi films that are also couple so here the question comes what it couple and what the couple being makes suppose i have this one so due to the couple it produces your the rotation suppose this is a pen which i have taken in my fingers if I will put a force either at this end or at this end, you will found that it start to your the rotate. So actually you are looking that a force is acting, 
but this side is going down, but auto automatically at the same at, at the same time the another side is going up. So, when the two forces are to be act, this is my acting force and this is the automatical force. So, this force, these two forces, when they are acting on the same line of action within the different directions, then that will make to your the rotate. Suppose with the same one, I will put a force here and another one will put a force here. These two forces of your the same nature means its magnitude is magnitude same, but both are to be directed in the opposite direction, then it will never rotate. Suppose you will just pull the force by using the force on the two sides, then that will not your the rotate, either that will expand or that will break down. So, here the question is if a rectangular conductor is to be placed in a uniform magnetic field, it automatically start to rotate that being developed by the human being. So, today we are going to find out the torque which in the physics there is a symbol known as the tau torque or couple due to a rectangular current carrying conductor in a uniform magnetic field. In a uniform magnetic field. For this we are going to the discuss. So, let us have A rectangular current carrying conductor, let its name is your the PQRS because this A and B that will come in our notation PQRS. It being placed this is your the magnetic field. So, magnetic field notation we know B, therefore, if you will write it is A, B, C, D, then there is a confusion of this name B and with this B. So, P, Q, R, S, let this one is of the small b size and this one is of the L size and some current is flowing through it. Suppose the current is flowing through it, that current is your the I. So, when the current will flow through your the rectangular conductor, it will start to your the rotate that one and how that is possible, let us now discuss about that one. So, before going to that one, if you will recapitulate your knowledge, if a current carrying conductor will produce your the magnetic field, then the force is equal to your the b i l sin theta or that is equal to your the i of your the l cross b that you know it is in the vector form this is in its the scalar form. So, if f is equal to b i l sin theta that is the force l is the length of the conductor i is your the current which is flowing through it and B is the magnetic field which it produces with the induction as your the B and theta is the angle between your the L and the B, then the magnitude of the force is your the B i L sin theta. So, here if you will go for this figure, you will have your the four conductors of the shape. If you only say one is your the P Q, one is the Q R R S S P or the P S S R R Q. Qp. If we will go for your the first one for arm Ps, suppose we will go for the arm Ps, you see this Ps, this is the arm of length is your the L. If this is of the length L and this is your the magnetic field, the L and your the B, they are making the angle of your the 90 degree. So, the force means the force due to the P s, if that is your the F 1, then F 1 according to this uh, formula B i l sin theta. So, B is the B, i is the i, 
L means the length, that length we already taken is the L also here, then sin 90, that is equals to the B i L into 1. So, that is equals to the B i L. Suppose you will just change it to the name, instead of the L that is the B and instead of the B this is your the L, if you will take then this B i L sin theta which is the formula that will be your the B i B sin theta, so that is equals to your the B i B or this can be written as your the this one. For the arm S r, if the force is your the F 2, because this is the conductor of length of your the L and of your the S 2, F 2, then what will be this one? For the S r, same formula, B is the B, I is the I, because the same current is flowing, L is the length, but here the length is also your the L of your the sin 90, means here theta is the angle. So, what is the theta? It is the angle between L and the B. You see the length is in this direction, the B is also in the same direction. So, theta is equal to the 0. So, this is equal to 0, means this total factor is equal to 0. Sin 0 is equal to 0, B i L into 0 is equal to 0. For arm R q, if that force is your the F 3, so this is your the R q. Then according to the formula B i B of sin 90, that is equals to also your the B i B or the I B B. And for the arm Q P, for the arm Q P, then if the force is your the F 4, you see Q P means this is your the Q P means the length of the conductor and this is your the B, they are making the angle of the 180. So, that is also again B i B of sin 180, that is equal to your the B i L, B i L of 0 is equal to 0. So, out of the four arms, there are the four forces F 1, F 2, F 3 and your the F 4. You see your F 1 is your the I B B, F 3 is your the I B B, means on this conductor the forces which are acting, if this one is your the F 1 and this force to be your the act as your the F 3. So, this is the direction of your the force according to your the right hand rules you can take. So, if this is your the F 1 and this is the F 3, only these two forces are your the existing, other two forces are your the 0. Therefore, the force is equal to your the I B B. So, this is an interesting one. The force is equal to your the I B B. But as myself is giving you the uh, explanation about that one, then I am saying that how I will be the I B B. You see, I B B. B B means you know that is a omen. So, can myself will be the omen? Myself is the man. So, therefore, it is the I B B. If myself is the man, then I can convert this B B into the man. And you can also convert this B B into the man. So, if this is the force which are acting at diametrically opposite ends, then this will start to your the rotate. So, when that will start to your the rotate, then that will produce your the torque. So, what is the definition of the torque? Torque is the force into perpendicular distance, that is the force into perpendicular distance. So, what is the force here? Force is your the I B B into perpendicular distance, that perpendicular distance between your the that two forces. You see one force is acting in this way another force is acting in this way. So, what is the perpendicular distance between these two forces? That is your the L. So, this perpendicular distance is equal to your the L. So, this becomes your the I capital B of the B cross L I have taken. So, B is your the breadth. If L is your the length, so length into breadth will be how much? That is the area. So, that is equal to your the I B into capital A. So, this capital A is its the area. 
area of which one area of that coil so if i b a so on previous i am saying that the f is equals to i b b means myself is b b i said that myself is never to be b b myself must be a man so if myself is a man now i converted that b b into the man you see now i will say that the torque is equals to the i b a b a b a means the ba ba means a purusha so i b a now the b b now becomes your the ba so in your the creation of the god we have considered for one time for your the women's now we consider for your the men's so this is your the net torque which is acting on this rectangular current carrying conductor of your the ib instead of taking your the one coil if the number of the coils are there if number of turns are there number of turns are there then what will say if that number of turns is equals to your the n now this tau is equals to your the i b a into n means myself now becomes your the ban means i never gone to your the man i never gone to your the woman so now i becomes your the man ban so i b a n this can you can remember very easily if we arrange these words as in this way means tau is equals to the b i n a just reshuffle the words b i n a that means that is your the bina which is taken by your the ma saraswati so if you remember ma saraswati and the <coughs> instrument which is with the ma saraswati that is nothing but in the physics that is the tau okay as we came to know that the torque which is acting on your the rectangular one tau is equals to your the b i n a so this torque tau can also be expressed in terms of your the dipole moment means for the magnetic dipole moment so we came to know tau is equals to your the b i n a but this i n a that is equals to your the capital m of your the b so that is your the mb means the tau is equals to your the mb and because you know that dipole moment capital m is equals to your the i way so this is the vector for m vector is equals to your the i of your the a vector so in magnitude this m is equals to your the i a here the n is there means when the number of turns is there then that number of turns will constitute the value of the i so for the number of turns the total current is your the ni of your the a so ni a is equals to your the m so tau is equals to your the mb so there is also another thing instead of taking in your the <coughs> uniform magnetic field of your the in that position suppose one will take making some your the angle this is your the magnetic field so this is your the b p q r s we have taken p q r s so if they are making some angle means with this plane of the paper if this coil is making your the certain angles means if the magnetic field is here then the force will be in this direction this force will be in this direction if this is the magnetic one this force is in this direction and another this is your the magnetic field in this direction means the force will be at the in this direction for the pq pq we have taken for the arm pq that is your the f1 for your the pq pq we have taken f4 so this is your the f4 this is your the f3 this is your the f2 and this one will be your the f1 f1 you see f2 and your the f4 
they are acting on the same line of action. So, the value of the f 2 and the f 4 they are acting equal in opposite direction. So, that could be your the cancel and the next remaining is your the f 1 and your the f 3 their magnitudes are also same. If we go for your the f 1, f 1 is equal to your the i b b, but when they are making the angle of your the theta that i b b means this side, this side means this one will have its the horizontal component that is your the l means this of the length will have your the cos theta factor. Therefore, this will be your the i b b factor or b i l factor whatever you will take either this is your the l or this is your the b that will have its the component of the horizontal component if you will take the b then that will be your the b cos theta if you will take the l then that is your the l cos theta so either b i b cos theta or your the b i l of your the cos theta therefore if we we'll go on the same way you will find that the tau is equals to b i n a with your the that factor of your the cos theta if we we'll making it say the angle which is the normal one that will convert it to your the sin theta so this b i l 1 will be your the m i m b b of your the sin theta so m b b sin theta means m vector cross a b vector so, this tau vector will be the m vector cross b vector, this is for your the torque acting on your the rectangular current carrying conductor when it being your the inclined, this inclining angle is your the theta, here also it is the making the inclining angle, but the <coughs> current direction we have taken in this way. So, here the force is in this direction. So, the angle theta, this is already the theta, the angle between the length and the vector will be this one. So, here we have to take in here the 180 minus theta, though we have taken this is the sin theta, that sin theta factor here it will be the sin 180 minus theta and here it will be the sin theta. So, in both the cases there is a factor of your the sin theta, so tau vector is equal to your the m vector cross of your the b vector. So, this is about your the <coughs> uh, magnitude of your the torque which is produced due to the rotation of your the rectangular conductor. By taking these expressions, now we will discuss one or the two of the problems. So, on my last classes, I said repeatedly that whenever a problem will be provided to you, you will follow the Pandava formula. According to the Pandava formula, what are the steps you know very well? There are the five steps, one, two, three, four, five. If a problem is given, you just go through the problem and find it is the 5 steps and on your the screen now you are finding that there is a problem. So, what that problem is providing just look after it. A vertical rectangular loop of the sides 5 centimeter and the 2 centimeter, vertical rectangular loop suppose this is your the vertical rectangular loop of the sides 5 centimeter and your the 2 centimeters this is given. So, 5 centimeters and 2 centimeters means if you will take length is equals to L is equals to your the 5 centimeter, then your the breadth will be your the B is equals to your the 2 centimeter, but 5 centimeter 2 centimeter carries a current of your the 2 ampere. So, current that is equals to the I of your the 2 ampere, current of the 2 ampere calculate the torque acting on the loop when it is placed in a uniform magnetic field. So, magnetic field uniform magnetic field means B that is equal to your the 0.1 Tesla. So, the first step is go through the questions, the question is in front of you, you go through it by making the pause to once or the twice or the thrice. The second step is the write the data, these are the data. The third step is your the what to be your the asking, the asking is your the find the torque. In the question it asks find the torque. So, torque is the tau that is your the question mark. The fourth step is your the Akhya Kumar, which is your the Sabse Bada Khiladi. So, you see all the provided data must be same unit. You see this is the centimeter, centimeter, these are your the ESU system or EMU in the magnetic means your the CGS1 
and this ampere on the Tesla, they are in the M case one. So, this is CGS, either you will convert it to the M case, all to be becomes your the M case, or this M case to be converted to your the CGS, means all to be become your the CGS, that is your choice, which will you will say. What is the rate of this pen? One can say it is the 2 rupees, or one can say this is your the 200 paise. Both are your the same value. So, the choice is your, either you will take for the M case and the CGS, you will ask me, then I will say that you always choose for your the M case because the M case is the shorter magnitude. Therefore, the CGS to be the converted to M case means this centimeter to be converted to your the M case. So, this 5 centimeter means that is equals to 0 0.05 meter because 5 by 100 it becomes your the centimeter to your the meter. So, it was your the 5 centimeter, this is the this meter, this is the 0 0.02 meter, this is the 2 ampere and this is the tesla. Next, we have to the put the fifth step. Fifth step is the put the formula, get the answer. So, what is the answer? What is the formula here? You have to find the torque. So, torque formula tau is equals to your the B I N A that we know. So, you see I, I is given that is equals to the 2 ampere, and the number of turns is not provided here, only the vertical rectangular loop is only given means N is equals to your the 1. Then comes your the <coughs> A, A means the area. Length breadth is given, though the name is the rectangular one, for the rectangular if the length breadth are given, then the area will be its the product. So, now we know, you will write as for the answer, we know tau is equal to your the B i n a B n a. So, B is the magnetic induction 0 0.1 into I is the current, current, current is equal to the 2 ampere, N is the number of turns only 1, A means your the area, area means your the length into your the breadth. So, length is equals to 0 0.05, breadth is equals to 0 0.02. So, this is equals to your the 1. So, if we multiply 2 into 1 is equals to your the 0 0.2 and this is equals to 0 0.05 into 2 means the 10, there are the 4 places. So, this is equals to your the 0.001. So, this is equals to 2 by 10 and this is equals to your the 1 by your the 10 to the power of 3. So, that is equals to your the 2 into 10 to the power of minus 4. So, this is equals to your the tau. Tau means your the Newton into meter because tau is equals to your the force into perpendicular distance. Force means your the f, f is the Newton and perpendicular distance is equals to your the meter. So, this is your the answer of that one. So, whenever a problem will come, kindly follow these 5 steps and you can solve it very easily. Okay. <laughs>
then that one is your the ammeter and there is another word that is your the emitter and the students are making in the dilemma suppose one will ask what is the difference between the ammeter and the emitter so they are never your answering to that one so emitter it is a part emit emit means bahariba so the <coughs> electrode which are just leaving your the particles then that is your the emitter so that is your the ammeter that is for the large current and this galvanometer is generally of your the two types one is your the moving coil galvanometer and another one is the moving magnet galvanometer so according to your the syllabus we are going to discuss about your the moving coil galvanometer means it is that device in which if a coil to be or the move then that is your the moving coil if the magnet to be or the move then that is your the moving magnet but in your the syllabus that is the moving coil galvanometer which will say as your the mcg means moving coil galvanometer so if a device is there it must work by using some principle and what is the principle here when a rectangular coil carrying conductor rectangular coil carrying conductor is placed in a uniform magnetic field in a uniform magnetic field will start to rotate will start to rotate or deflect we will discuss so about which we discuss now that if a rectangular current carrying conductor to be placed in a uniform magnetic field it start to your the rotate that is it is the principle so after the principle we will take it is the diagram how that galvanometer is being constructed so next we will go for it is the construction this is a rectangular current carrying coil coil means it has your the number of turns that being placed in a highly magnetic field this is the north and the south this is most probably of your the horseshoe magnet so due to the horseshoe magnet these two ends are connected with these two ends so both are your the concave in your the nature like your the horseshoe also khurakuti so this is your the horseshoe magnet with its the poles north and your the south this is the coil and it being though it is inside this one means inside your the magnetic field there is a magnetic induction and this is your the spring and you see this is your the mirror this is your the mirror arrangement there is a mirror with some pointer inside that one here a pointer is there and this end being your the connected to the two terminals this one with your the one terminal and this end with your the another terminal where the current to be your the insert if the current to your the insert through this one it will start to your the rotate about by taking that principle this construction being your the made and the working to be your the discuss so next we will go for it is the working so this spring means this is your the very small wire that is made of your the phosphorus bronze 
this suspension wire, this suspension wire is made of your the phosphorus bronze. Phosphorus bronze is the very fine arrangement of the wires because due to the fine arrangement with its the lighter weight, if some current means if a tiny amount of the current, very small amount of the current will pass, then it will make its the rotation. Likewise, if you will tie with a substance with a stronger wire. If that amount of the force, unless it being acted upon that one, it never to be the rotated. If a very fine wire is connected with a substance, if a small force to be the acted, then that will start to be the rotated. That is the basic principle. And here the suspension wire being of the made of your the phosphorus bronze, due to its the lighter weight, it can be the rotated very easily. So, though this is the current carrying conductor being placed in a magnetic field, if the current will pass through that one, according to our the previous discussion, we know that that coil will start to rotate. So, this coil, if the current will pass through that one, then it will start to rotate. Though this is the suspension end, this is its the another end. At this another end, the superintendent of a police is there. You see the SP is there. When the SP is there, if we will look for the SP, then we will again comes to your the same position because either the police will crap you. Therefore, this SP means not your the superintendent of police here. This SP is your the spring. Here we have given a spring. What is the nature of the spring? Spring is that nature. If some force being of the acted, then it to be of the deflate, and when that force being of the taken out, it comes to its the original position. So when this current will flow through this one, then it will start to your the rotate. So due to its the rotation, the pointer which is given here, that pointer will give its the indication. The indication is to be measured on your the mirror there is a glass. So, through that glass, you will find that there is a deflection like your the ammeter or the voltmeter or generally in case of your the speedometers which is connected with your the vehicles, then you will find that if you make your the more acceleration, there is a indication of that your the pointer. That pointer, if it looks for your at the position of the 20, it will go to your the 60 means we are saying that our vehicle is moving with the 60 kilometer per hour. So, here also this pointer means due to its the rotation, this pointer to be the deflect and that deflection will indicates that the current is your the flowing, but what is the amount of that current we will find out by using our the principle. So, what is the principle? When the current will flow through that one, it will start to your the deflect. Due to the deflection, it will produce a torque. Okay. So, torque means that is your the couple. So, a couple is your the produce. So, when the couple is producing here, at the another end, what is present the spring? What is the nature of the spring? It will try to restore its the position. Means from where it being deflected, the spring always try to make it to its the original position. So, that original position we will say that that is your the restore. Re means again, store means where that was. Where that was means initially it was here. When the current is flowing, there is a deflection means this spring is to be the rotate. And its nature is to keep it to its the original position. Again, that spring will comes out. So, the question is, if a heavy current will flow through that one, then what will happen? When the heavy current will flow, then this spring will the deflect more. So, when the spring will deflect more, there is a chance of your the disconnection. Likewise, in your the self-adjustment doors, suppose the door is there, just you will push and you enter without saying anything that door is again coming to its original position because there is a spring arrangement is here. If that door being your the made with your the high force, then after two to three times, then that spring will be the cut out. Therefore, this spring will start, uh, will make to its the restore. So, this torque is the couple. So, this couple is to be now balanced by using your the another couple. Therefore, we will say that the deflecting couple is equals to your the restoring couple. So, 
my method is if just you remember dc and your the rc then your the moving coil galvanometer is your the over so dc means your the deflecting couple rc is your the restoring couple if the deflecting couple means the, the couple through which it being deflected that is equal to your the bi na another one is the restoring couple that restoring couple here that is the c theta so what is your the c c means your the couple per unit twist couple per unit twist means the couple which produced due to your the unit twist means for your the one twist if the couple produced your the c and the deflection which is make on your the mirror arrangement if that is your the theta then for the theta angle the couple produced is your the c theta this c theta is the total couple produced due to the restoring bina the total torque produced due to your the deflecting so bina is equals to your the c theta we are interested to find what amount of current is flowing means for the i this i is equals to your the c theta by b n a that implies i is equals to your the k theta you see c is the couple per unit twist which depends upon the nature of the suspension wire the nature of the suspension wire is the phosphorus bronze so due to its the own character it has its the constant value so c is the constant b is your the magnetic induction the magnetic induction which is produces due to the using of that magnet the magnet which we already use that has its the magnetic induction that is also its the constant n is the number of turns the coil which we have taken inside that one that has its the fixed number of the turns because by using once it cannot be becomes your the more or the less so that is your the constant a means the area of cross section of the each turn so each turn must have your the same area because there is no change in its the number means if the number to be changed there is a chance of the increasing its the area if the number to be or the less then is a chance of the decreasing of the area though the number is remains constant the area is remaining constant so i is equals to your the k theta where k is equals to c by b n a so this implies i proportional to your the theta so i means your the current theta means your the deflection so on this mirror arrangement if the deflection will show you more then we will say that more current is there if the more less currents or less deflection is there then the less current is the flowing so this i is proportional to your the c theta now by controlling the factor of your the k we can control your the value of your the i if the i to be the increased means the c b n a that factors to be your the changed therefore if your b to be your the increase b to be your the increase then i to be your the decrease n to be your the increase the i to be your the decrease a to be your the increase i to be your the decrease if c to be or the more means the couple per unit twist if it is made of the very thin material means it's the couple will be or the more if the c will be the more then your the i will be or the more so by controlling c b n a means by controlling the k we can make your the controlling of your the i so this is your the current i is equals to your the k theta if the current is there it must have its the sensitivity it must have its the sensitivity that sensitivity how it depends will discuss now as per our discussion we came to know that i is equals to k theta means i proportional to your the theta i means not myself or not your the bohu bohu that i is your the current current is proportional to your the theta theta is the deflection i is the current which is flowing through your the galvanometer if the deflection will be the more then your the current factor is more that is your the common case we came to know 
So, now we will going to discuss about it is the sensitivity. The sensitivity of the galvanometer is of your the two types. Sensitivity means it is a sensation. Sensation means how it responds. If the galvanometer is responds very quickly, then we will say that it has it is the more sensation. If it here the response is the less, then that is called your the less sensation. So, that sensation is also depends upon the different factors by using which the sensation is your the increase or your the decrease. So, next we are going to find the sensitivity. It is of the two types. One is the current sensitivity. one is your the voltage sensitivity. So, current sensitivity if the sensitivity is the S for the current you will take your the I then this is the S I and voltage sensitivity sensitivity is the S voltage is your the V then that is called your the voltage sensitivity. So, if we will go for the current sensitivity it is the ratio of your the theta with your the I means it is a ratio of the deflection with your the amount of the current which is flowing. Sensitivity of a current is equal to the theta by i, very simple to remember theta by i. So, this theta by i means you see i is equal to your the k theta. So, theta is equal to your the i by k. So, theta is equal to your the i by k by your the i, i i is cancel that is your the 1 by k. So, what is the k? You see C by B n a, we have taken as your the k. This is your the C by B n a, k is equals to C by B n a, that is equals to your the B n a by your the C. Just you discuss, S i is equals to C B n a by C, means the sensitivity depends upon B directly, depends upon the number of turns directly, depends upon the area of the turn is directly and depends inversely with its the couple per unit twist. As I said that, if the couple per unit twist is the very small, means if it is made of the very thin, then if this value to be or the decrease, C value to be or the decrease means the sensation will be or the more. Therefore, the suspension wire which we have taken that is made of your the very thin material which is the phosphorus bronze and if we increase the B means magnetic field strength, if the more strength of the magnet being the taken then it is the sensitivity will be the more, if the number of tons to be the more then the sensitivity will be the more, if the area to be the more the sensitivity is the more. So, that is the current sensitivity. If we go for the voltage sensitivity, so sensitivity is the S, V is the voltage on the same way it is the theta by your the V. For the voltage theta by V, for the current theta by I. If just you remember the formula, according to that you can write it in the words. So, voltage sensitivity is defined as the ratio of angle of a deflection with your the voltage produced. So, that theta V is equal to your the <coughs> V is equal to your the Rajaswa Nirikhyaka, you know from your the my name previous law, V is equal to your the Rajaswa Nirikhyaka. Rajaswa Nirikhyaka means in Odia that is we are saying that is your the Ri. So, V is equal to your the Ri or your the Ir. So, this theta, theta is equal to how much? I by your the K by your the Ir. Now, see your the I i is cancelled. So, this k will comes downward. So, 1 by your the k r is equals to 1 by k. So, here 1 by k is equals to this one means this one. So, 1 by k is equals to b n a by c again r is there. So, that is equals to your the b n a by your the c r. So, this is your the sensitivity means voltage sensitivity. So, if the sensitivity we came to know, another thing is this instrument is used for your the small amount of the current. So, now the question comes, if the same thing can it be used for your the larger amount of the current, for that one we have to make the conversion of your the galvanometer into your the voltmeter and your the ammeter. So, the first one is your the conversion of 
एम सी जी टू आमीटर द एम सी जी मीन्स द स्मल एमाउंट ऑफ द करेंट बाय यूजिंग द सेम एम सी जी हाउ विल मेक यूर द मोर एमाउंट ऑफ द करेंट सो फॉर दैट कन्वर्सन मीन्स वी हैव टू चेंज इज द बेसिक वन विल रिमेन सेम बट इज द फंक्शन टू बी योर द चेंज सपोज माई सेल्फ इज डूइंग योर द सम रोल so myself is the my name is what you know very well myself is myself but when the role i have to make that according to that one i have to make the role but the my name never to be or the change similarly the galvanometer is there but it to be converted to your the ammeter so when the ammeter means it is used for your the large current so with the current to be or the large means through which the current to be major that must have your the low resistance if the large current is there then the resistance should be or the low resistance should low a load of low so when the resistance will be low the current to be or the more therefore if i we have a galvanometer we want to make it to your the ammeter to that galvanometer we have to use a resistor which is of the resistance value is your the very small the resistance value very small is known as your the shunt resistance s means your the shunt resistance if it throw a galvanometer a low resistance is connected in your the parallel then if the current is coming your the i throw the galvanometer the current is going your the ig and throw your the shunt the current is going your the i minus of your the ig so though it is connected with your the galvanometer in the parallel both must have your the same voltage means the voltage of a galvanometer and the voltage of the shunt that must be or the same so voltage of the galvanometer and the voltage of the this to be or the same voltage means how much v is equals to the ir i is equals to the ig and the resistance is your the g for your the vg for the vs means for the same the current is your the i minus ig and the shunt resistance is equals to your the s so s is equals to your the ig by i minus ig into capital g so by using this formula you fully control the value of the s then your the galvanometer to be converted to your the ammeter similarly we will go for the conversion of mcg to voltmeter if you will remember clearly about your the galvanometer to your the emitter means low resistance connected in parallel this total one this total one will become your the emitter and with the appliance suppose we have your the some appliance here this is your the appliance a p p l i a n c e through this appliance it must be connected in your the series and for your the voltmeter just it is the reverse one means the low resistance to be replaced by your the high resistance instead of using in your the parallel you have to use in your the series means if this is your the galvanometer you have to take any resistance that resistance is here and that to be connected in your the series here we have taken in the parallel here we have to take in the series if this resistance is the r through the galvanometer it to be connected in your the series then this total one then this total one will become your the voltmeter you see on the diagram this is for your the conversion of the galvanometer into your the ammeter and this is for your the voltmeter the galvanometer and your the lower <laughs> high resistance they to be connected in your the series and this total one will become your the voltmeter and that to be connected in parallel with your the appliance 
this is your the appliance with the appliance that to be connected in your the parallel. So, the galvanometer now converted to the ammeter, galvanometer now converted to your the voltmeter. If you remember this one, just this is it is the opposite. If you remember this one, this is it is the opposite. So, this is the way how the galvanometer is converted to your the ammeter. Thank you very much.